right so we can use a similar kind of uh, technique here for iodine what happens when you, suppose we have ethane and we, I have iodide free radical now there has been an abstraction of uh, hydrogen here and you have HI now what can happen is what can happen is you have uh, this ethyl free radical can abstract back that hydrogen become ethane and this iodine free radical would be recreated so in order to avoid that let's remove off this HI there is no HI there is no question of coming backward right so what we do is we use a strong oxidizing agent like nitric acid like iodic acid so that a strong oxidizing agent oxidizes that HI and uh, there is then that HI is not there so the reaction cannot come backward so these are the two common oxidizing agent that you have to keep in mind they, there are others as well but the problem with others are they are very strong uh, oxidizing agent like KMnO4 which can show other reactions now I'm not getting into it but generally here we'll, we'll, we'll be taking uh, nitric acid and iodic acid nitric acid is oxidizing as acid now just to give you an idea of oxidizing acid oxidizing acid is one in which tries to accept electron if you look at the oxidation state of nitrogen it is plus 5 nitric acid would have this kind of structure right so if you look at this bond and this bond nitrogen have plus 2 from here another plus 2 and from here uh, because it's a coordinate bond and from here another plus 1 that makes it plus 5 now nitrogen is the third most electronegative element in the periodic table and such a high oxidation state is not favorable so it tries to come down so when it comes down it accepts electron when it accepts electron someone will lose electron and when that someone loses electron that someone has a oxidation because as per Leo Gel, loss of electron is oxidation gain of electron is reduction so if that someone is losing electron it is getting oxidized so this reagent is oxidizing that someone so that someone is getting oxidized and this is oxidizing agent same goes with uh, iodic acid but iodine will also have a plus 5 oxidation state but iodine is not so high electronegative as nitrogen so oxidizing tendency of iodic acid will be much less than nitric acid nevertheless such a high oxidation state if a central atom has it always have a tendency to come down so it always act as an oxidizing agent right so this is about iodine if you want the reaction use an oxidizing agent fine we also didn't talk about fluorine now let us quickly uh, see now if you want to react uh, have a fluorine to get attached or s substitute ethane then the best way is first you add bromine the way you add bromine and chlorine and after that you add mercuric fluoride now mercury has a tendency of forming a complex now these fluorines are attached with mercury tightly those fluorines are well behaved fluorines now those fluorines will come out and will, will, will come out and substitute this bromine and ultimately you will have two molecules of this and ultimately you will replace bromine by fluorine and the mercury will again form complex with bromine instead of fluorine right so the be you can have other complex as well you can have uh, HBF4 a complex with boron right so fluorine are added in form of complexes so that they are well behaved the reaction is not violent right we will see other reactions of fluorine clubbed together at one place but just to give you an idea reaction of fluorines are carried out using complexes so this uh, completes the idea of substitution of alkane